Hi guys, I noticed from the feedback that I received on my last video on how to get a NIN that some of you weren't so clear about how to get a NIN if you were in diaspora. Truth is, I tried to merge too much information in that video that it actually lacked clarity for a lot of you guys based in the diaspora. I apologize for that lack of clarity, hence the reason why I am creating this video that is specifically geared towards everyone in the diaspora. Yes, this is going to be your quick guide to getting a NIN, a national identification number, if you're based abroad in the diaspora. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian author, travel and lifestyle content creator. I'm here to help the average Nigerian and African traveler navigate travel better. If that's you, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Yes, that big red button. My aim is to get 60,000 subscribers this month of March. I hope you can make it happen for me. First, before we get started into the steps, I would like to reiterate here that getting a NIN in the diaspora comes at a fee. So yes, getting a NIN in the diaspora is not free. The government does not make any money from your NIN enrollment, but the government has contracted the whole data capturing process to private companies. And those private companies are the ones that are charging for the NIN enrollment because they are for profit companies right so if you're looking to do your NIN for free or as close to free i suggest you do it when you're in nigeria but if you're going to do it in the diaspora you will have to pay some sort of a fee for it the nimc i've actually stated the amount that the private companies should be charging for NIN enrollment i'll link it down below so you can actually see what those private companies should be charging um, things may have been changed. I think the document I'm going to refer you to 2019, they might have changed the document so that will help you understand why maybe the price is different for what you see on the document, but it serves as guidance. So let's get straight into this video. The first thing Nigerians and the diaspora have to do is they have to do what is called a pre-enrollment. You have to pre-enroll on a website. Now, I'm going to go through the steps of actually getting this done. I'm going to leave the link to the steps in the description box so you, can, you guys can refer to it easily after this video. The first thing it says here is that you should check the NIMC website, right? And that's the www.nimc.gov.ng to confirm the approved and activated license partner operating in the country of in your country of residence what they're saying here is that on the nimc website they have actually stipulated the different companies right that are licensed to do to basically help with your new enrollments and they said check whether or not those companies are in your location basically i'm also going to link um a list because i can't put everything up here i put a few to the different addresses of near the enrollment centers across the world, but I'm going to leave the full link in the description box. That might be an easier way to look at it because they've created a table where you can actually, by country, see which website you need to go to rather than trying to use the companies and finding if they're in your country, if you know what I mean. They then say that you get your breeder documents ready. What is this? They said a breeder document, I don't know why I call it breeder, but it's a valid Nigerian passport or an authentication letter from the Nigerian embassy in your country of residence where you do not have a Nigerian passport. So essentially they need a document, you should get your document that they're going to use to confirm that you're actually a Nigerian citizen, right? Because only Nigerian citizens or residents in Nigeria can get a name. It then tells you to go to the website of the partner of your choice, click on the pre-enrollment bracket CR new. This link will direct you to the pre-enrollment portal of the National Identity Management Commission you complete the pre-enrollment process as directed in the link, right? So it then says that once you've completed and this pre-enrollment, you're going to get a 2D barcode that's going to be generated automatically. And it says that you should save this barcode. I would advise you to just print it uh, or print it out, 
Once you've done this, it then states that you have to make the payment on the site of the licensed partner and save evidence of payment on your phone or print it out. So you're going to have payment. You're going to have to make payments on the website. And once you've made the payment, make sure you just like scream munch it on your phone or print it out again. Um, finally, it says that you have to then book an appointment on that same website for the biometric data capture at the address indicated for your country of residence. So still on this website, you have to book um, the date which you're going to go and actually capture for your name. It then says that the next thing, I guess this is the whole process of pre-enrollment done, right? The next thing you have to do is take your breeder document, that's your valid Nigerian passport, um, evidence of payment, and a 2D, the 2D barcode to the office address provided. So that is your passport, your screenshot of your payment and the screenshot or printout of your 2D barcode, right? Key to know that your 2D barcode basically has all the information that you've pre-enrolled with so that they can easily like pull that information out. That's why you need the 2D barcode. They said on arrival, your height measurement will be taken. Thereafter, the 2D barcode will be scanned and you'll be asked to verify your information. Once the review is completed, your biometrics, right? That's your 10 fingerprints, facial picture and signature will be taken. You will then be asked your, pref your preference of a NIN, paper or digital. I believe right now it's only paper they are doing. So most likely you're just gonna get a, a NIN slip like on the paper. I'm gonna put up on the screen now what the NIN slip looks like so you can see that. They then say that your breeder document will be scanned. So that's the document, your passport document is gonna scan it. Your enrollment will then be sent to the NIMC backend and transaction slip will be generated on an ordinary paper and issued to you. If there is no issue with your registration, that is that your biometrics does not resemble any other in the national identity database or you're attempting double registration your name will be sent back immediately so basically you should get your name automatically back once your um, enrollment information everything is put into the system and sent to the database but if for example there's like a duplication of records it might not be sent directly back to you. It then says that the enrollment officer will then print out your NIN on a NIN slip. I'm gonna put up what that looks like right now and issue this document to you. You will sign a collection register that you've actually collected this slip. It then goes on to say that the NIN is your identity and you will use it in all transactions requiring identity proof. It goes on to say that where there is a hit on your enrollment, right? Basically that your biometric resembles another one in the database already, you would not be given a NIN slip, but just a transaction slip. You will then be notified when your registration is cleared within two weeks of enrollment. It then goes on to finally say that the database team at the NIMC office in Abuja we we'll review this hit where it is a true hit whereby you enrolled before right or your data has been transmitted um, to the nidp through the ongoing harmonization of data by other government agencies your enrollment will then be cleared and your name will be sent to your email address or phone number you may also contact the office you enrolled if there's an issue with the name enrollment um, the people in Abuja are going to review it, look at it, and then send you your name directly to your email address or phone number, um, but that you can also go to where you've enrolled to get that information. So guys, I hope that has been super, super clear. I'm really sorry that there wasn't a lot of clarity in my last video. Um, I hope it's been super clear now. If it is, like, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Um, if you have any further questions, um, feel free to ask me. I, you know, I actually registered for my name in Nigeria a few years ago, so I actually didn't have to re-register um, over the past couple of months. The name that I did a couple of years ago, actually, I, did, I never got a name slip, but it, one was generated for me, and I was able to get that from my um, from my telecoms company, so that all worked out. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thank you for supporting my channel. Let me know if there are other future video ideas you'd like for me to create on this channel. Drop those comments in the comment section. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.